Okay, the last video I showed you how to install the Plex server on that little $40 Android box. Now this one I'm going to show you how to install the uh, MB server on that $40 box. Okay, we go to download. It's a Linux, Linux box. So you go down to Ubuntu. We want the stable release channel. Come back to Ubuntu. Now this one we have to use 14.04. Even though we're running 16.04, we have to use this one here. So let's go back to Putty. And my IP address is 90. And login as root. And put in my password that I created earlier. Okay, so there we are on Putty. Now again, we're sitting at my desktop uh, using my Windows 10 computer. And I'm communicating with that $40 box that is attached to my uh, TV using Ethernet. Okay, so here's the command. Copy it. I like copy and paste it because I'm lazy. Okay. Pseudo. Oh, can't use that pseudo. I keep forgetting we can't use pseudo. So, but here, most cases, we I use pseudo, some that we don't. So, put that in. Okay, now we're going to get the app get update. Okay, let's go into that website that we just pointed it to and pull out the information we need. Okay, the next one we're going to do is install MB Server. So we copy that and right click and paste it. No sudo, can't use sudo. Old people like me don't have a very good memory. Short time memory, horrible. So anyway, we're installing it. And it's going to take a few minutes to install. But when we get done, it will have MB server and Plex server running on this box. And the next thing we're going to add to this box is a TV head end DVR server. So it's going to be an all-in-one box for 40 bucks. So you've got Ubuntu, if you want to practice learning uh, Linux, that's a great little device to learn on. And it is a full-blown operating system, all from a $40 box. So you got three different servers running on it. And then if you pull the micro SD card out, you go back to running Android, whatever version of Android you want to run, because it does not affect it. Everything here is running off that fast micro SD card. So uh, anything that's internal to the uh, box is not being uh, displaced. So whatever you've got running on your box, be it uh, Android or uh, Libre ELAC or embedded Linux. It does not affect that. So everything is running off that micro SD card. So anyway, this is going to take a few minutes and when it gets done I'll come back and show you how to set it up on your using your web browser. Okay, now that we have it set up on our box using PuTTY now we type in our address, IP address, and it was 90, port 90. So we'll put that in there, hit enter. Okay, now we're actually talking to the box. Click next. Uh, we're going to call this one uh, mlogic s905x. Since I have several of these boxes, uh, I uh, I have to give it a name so I know which box it is. Username, I'll put my... Let me go ahead and put my information in this and then I will come back. Okay, alright, I put my username in it. So now, set up your media libraries. There. Now if you recall, let's click Movies, let's click Blu-ray Movies. Blu-ray movies. 
Now, if you recall, we mounted those, my external uh, folders from my external devices. We mounted them to that box, so I just pick out the one I want, Blu-ray Movies, click OK. There's the settings, save artwork. OK, I'll do that. Download the images in advance. Click Next. English. Next. OK, now this particular one, I'm going to use a custom firmware. And the firmware path, I've got it all stored on one of my uh, NASAs. So we're going to take that one right there. Okay, so there's my custom version. Click Next. Terms of Service, Accept. Next. Finish. Okay, that's all there is to it. Very simple, but there's where I'm at. Now, if you want to take your cell phone and you're out of the country or anywhere where you've got Wi-Fi or use your uh, cell phone G uh, data plan, Click that right there. That's your uh, thing for getting out of the uh, uh, your home network. So, anyway, that's all there is to do it to set it up with. So it is set up. Thank you.